Dime Dropper fam, what is up? We are back here, second straight day, another back-to-back Staples Center experience on this farewell tour of Staples Center as a Clipper fan, of course. It's not like I'm never going to go back to this building again. I am a Kings fan, and I do frequent, I, I de- definitely don't frequent Laker games, but I, I just like to go to them sometimes, you know, just appreciate NBA basketball. But tonight, we got the Indiana Pacers. We played like absolute garbage yesterday against the Sixers. Can we bounce back? We have to. We only got 12 games left, and every single one counts. We're not going to be able to get a top three seed, which I said was required to win a championship. So we just got to figure out how to stay in fourth place because the Pelicans are right on our tail. The Pacers played last night against the Lakers and lost. So hopefully they will be a little tired, but they're a younger team than the Clippers, and they look to push pace and score a lot of points. So if our defense is not up to par, we could get run out of the gym again. We better be better, and we have to play a little bit of defense. Hopefully our offense is lights out because they can't guard. So let's see. Pascal Siakam in a Pacers jersey. Tyrese Halliburton. I haven't seen him since 2022. We did a Kings vlog when we got smoked. And, of course, Siakam. Pretty sure we saw him last year against the Raptors. Let's go. Oh, and how could I forget the return of Russell Westbrook tonight? I cannot wait to see Brody. Hopefully he reinvigorates us with his energy and the crowd gives him a warm welcome welcome back, which they will, and hopefully it ignites a win. Units players have for giving back to their communities. This year's February recipient is the LA Clippers own Terrence Mann. Yeah! Terrence is being recognized by the NBA for his ongoing efforts in promoting youth mentorship and community through his foundation, the Terrence Mann Complete Player Foundation. Yeah! The NBA will donate $10,000. Let's get it, baby! Can we get a win, for God's sake? Great start for Paul George. He's being guarded by this Ben Shepard character, and he's got no business guarding PG. So he's off to a good start with six points. But Siakam, he's getting to his right. He's got six points. Oh, 
and ten in the first half. So first explain to people your Indiana, LA roots. Hmm, my dad grew up in Indy. Um, I live here, pretty pretty simple. Go Pacers. So Pacers your favorite team, you, you watch them every game or try to? Mostly, mostly, yeah. All right, so give me give me a little brief rundown of how this season has gone. Obviously, you did almost win the in-season tournament, but then things have, what has happened after Siakam's come? Because I heard a lot about before Siakam, but not after. It's been a fun season dime, you know. The, the Pacers play a very fun, chaotic style of basketball. I think now that Halliburton's getting back on track, he really wasn't the same after that left leg injury that he had near the in-season tournament. But Siakam's fitting in great. Our defense has been more like middle of the league as compared to horrible. And our offense is still great. So hopeful for the playoffs. Hope we can win a playoff series. How about this game? Up by three right now. What do you think about the Clippers from the outsider perspective? I mean, we're struggling a lot lately. Yeah, the Clippers, I was very in on them early, as you know. You know, you are a hardened hater, unfortunately. But maybe you were right, because the Clippers look kind of ass recently. But this is, I don't know. Like, you want to believe in that. You want to believe in the talent. But, like, even tonight, you can see they're not running their sets. They play iso ball. They just lose focus on defense. It, it's the same shit they always do. Who's winning this game? Pacers are winning. Oh, wow. All right. Let people know where they can find you because you make content as well. What? Let people know where they can find you because you also make content. I do make content. My name is Ben Pfeiffer, P-F-E-I-F-E-R, or B-J-P-F underscore on Twitter. Go follow my buddy Dime if you don't already. I'm sure you do if you're watching this. Thank you, my friend. Fife Dogs. All right, Jaden. As expected, high scoring first half. Down by three at half. How you feel? It's not bad. We're doing a lot better than... Expected, especially for um, uh, Sunday's game, but we're doing a lot better than expected. What do we need to do to get a W here in the second half? When you shoot more threes, uh, make sure uh, Halbert doesn't shoot more. Other than that, no more trust to complain. The last couple of times I've asked you, are we going to win this game? You say yes, we've lost. Yes, are we're we going to win. Are we winning this game? Yes. Outside Staples Center where the Clippers have just lost their second consecutive game and it was another blowout. Rob, uh, where do we go from here? Man, so much 
so much uh, so much uh, bad things have happened the last you know 48 hours two really bad losses we're definitely better than uh, you know Indiana we're definitely better than Philly without uh, Embiid um, personally I just we go small sometimes and it just does not work we can't get a stop uh, Siakam gets the ball and then like Norman Powell's guarding him. I mean, how are you going to, uh, that, that's not going to do it, you know, so. The only thing I'll say is what alternative was there? You know, Miles Turner in the pick and pop, giving us a hard time. What could we have done? Our defense just doesn't look good lately. Yeah, the defense, we can't get a stop to save our life against a good team. I mean, I know we beat Portland, but I mean, that, that's just, we should be beating them. Um, but yeah, I don't know, man. Uh, I'll, I'll leave it up to Ty Lue for this one. We got 11 games left, Rob. I mean, how are we feeling heading into this home stretch? I mean, we're clinging on to the four seed, you know, with all our lives right now. Yeah, I mean, I don't think we're getting the third. We're definitely not getting the one seed at this point. Um, you know, best case, hopefully we just get the four seed. Um, I'd like to have that home court against uh, probably New Orleans. Uh, but at the end of the day, I mean, these guys turn it up in the playoffs. The game slows down, right? It's a little tighter, more of a half court game. Uh, I think that bodes well for us. Uh, and at, and truly, I mean, you think if we play Indiana again tomorrow, like we won't make adjustments and get better? Like, I'd be somewhat optimistic, but yeah, I mean, are we going to go all the way to get a chip? I don't know at this point, man. Fair enough. All right, Rob, we'll see you soon. All right, man. Thank you. No problem. Outside Staples Center, where the Clippers have just taken another big L to the Pacers tonight. Joseph, thoughts on this one? It's tough, man. Um... Just watch, just watching this team struggle after being the best team in the NBA for two months is just—it's mind blowing. I just—I don't—I think I, I just saw your tweet where you're, you said you know age can't guard. It, it, I think it's catching up to them, and I'm hoping that they can you know flip this switch and just get it on for the playoffs. But seeding, man, seeding is important, and right now it's not looking good. So are we cooked? <laughs> PJ Tucker, <laughs> he, he, was, he was cooked today. Um, I'm hoping that Russ coming back gives them, you know, just like this this boost, this energy boost, and um, they they do well. But it's not looking good, man. I, and I hope I hope Kawhi just turns into Kawhi, playoff Kawhi, and we'll be good. But it's it's not looking good. But I'm ha I have hope. I have hope. Last question: What's been the biggest problem you think? Is it our role players not playing well enough? Is it our big three not playing well enough? Has it just been Russ being out? People are getting mad at Ty Lue. I mean, what's the biggest indicator when someone asks you why have the Clippers changed so much from December, January to now? What would you say the biggest thing is? So I think that obviously the Harden trade kind of was also a boost of energy. So they were playing hard. They were trying to go for that that one seed. But then again, age caught up to them. Um, right. And now I think that it is the big three. I think Harden's been too inconsistent. PG is just his career with the Clippers has been inconsistency. And Kawhi just... I think he does it on purpose. I would want to, I want to say, but he lacks that killer instinct until the playoffs. Right, I agree with that. Yeah, yeah. I feel like we, there's a lot of games we just don't have him shoot enough. Yeah, today the first half that was prime example. He got it on in the third quarter, but so I'm, I'm, I'm again I'm hoping he, you know, flips that switch and gets into Kawhi mode in the playoffs. But it, yeah, and then the role players again they've they've lacked a little. Ty Lue's rotations today having three non-shooters on the court. It's just a little bit of everything, man. So I'm, I'm hoping Ty Lue makes the adjustments because he's Ty Lue and he does. And I'm hoping that the team just gets it together. And I think they can, but it's going to take a lot of work. It's going to take a lot of work. Appreciate you, bro. Thank you, man. No problem. Thank you. Outside Staples Center where the Clippers have just taken their second straight L. I'm gonna, I think we've lost five straight games at home, DL2. What do we have to say at this point? Nothing. Um, can't say anything. Got, gotta let the, gotta let the play talk. But they're not gonna say anything there either. So nothing to really worry about. But you know, it's just, it, it just seems like we're an old team that just can't get all the way through the season. You feel me? Like, like we, we just never made it this far healthy. We've never looked this good deep into the season. And it just seems like it's the same thing I've been saying for a couple of years. You gotta front load the season and and let young guys play, get some opportunity boost their trade value by February if they're still here. And everybody was still here this season because they sat on their hands at the deadline. If they're still here, you know, play the ones that can't play, bench the ones that can't. But at this point, you have to focus on 
preserving your oldest players and putting their legs on ice. And we just weren't able to do that because we couldn't win any games. Um, so that's what I have to say. They're not going to be allowed to say that. Just dribbling loud as fuck. Um, and, and it's just, it, it's annoying. That, that's, that's, he's play, playing better than Paul George right now, man. Just dribbling off his foot and shit. Losing the ball. It's just, it's just sad. I, I don't know what to say, um, but since the All-Star break, we've just looked like shit. We're just fatigued and it's, it's been awful. Is there any hope? There's always hope, man. You know I'm always going to say that, but something has to shift. You know, players only meeting, something has to completely drastically change. And I don't know who's going to do that because Kawhi is just not that vocal guy that we expect. Russ is back. You know, he could, you know, kind of take that upon himself. But I just don't see any one player on this team having the ability or the, the initiative to actually do something like that. Appreciate you, bro. Outside Staples Center where the Clippers for the second straight day have lost in a blowout fashion to an Eastern Conference opponent, Mason. I mean, nothing's going right for us anymore. To quote the great philosopher Mike Polk Jr., it's like finding out there, there's no Santa Claus each and every single day of your life. Just depressing. Just, it, it, it feels like something has changed about this team. This is not the team that was there December through January. Remember when we talked just a couple of months ago, you were saying we're going to go to the championship this year at minimum. Well, see, that was with that team, not this team. This team ain't going anywhere. Not with the way they're playing, no. What has been the biggest change for you? Just, for one thing, we're seeing less of Daniel Tice. Like, that that stands out to me in my mind is that feels like he's getting kind of pushed to the side more when, in reality, he was one of the best things going. Like, we had this whole sequence where we went super, super small. We subbed off Zoo, you know, put in Russ, and... Russ was back tonight, by the way. Any thoughts on him? I mean, yeah, he Russ looked good, but that wasn't the, the issue with that. The issue was that I was sitting there thinking, huh, they're going to put Russ in at center over Tice in this situation, you know? And then, you know, with Norm there, that's a pretty small lineup. And then Indiana immediately subbed on a couple of guys just barely taller. And, you know, I like TJ McConnell. He had, like, what, 15 points tonight? We got cooked by him. Yeah, Miles Turner had like a legacy game tonight for some reason. I I hate it here. I re I really hate it here, man. Is the championship window just closed? Is it over? For this year, yes. I won't say for future years, no. But well, you shouldn't. Uh, I, I I I not not for future years. This year, I think that I, I I think that given the way they're playing now, I think that that might be. I don't think there's a championship of the cards. Appreciate you, though, Mason. Yeah. Thank you, bro. Outside Staples Center, where we have just gotten absolutely run off the floor by the Indiana Pacers. It's funny because there were a lot of people that were predicting this. Our defense is exactly what I kind of expected it would be when we made the trade for Harden now. We were pretty solid for months, and we've been falling off a cliff lately. Zoo... I mean, I actually thought he had a good first half, but when you have a pick-and-pop center like Miles Turner, you're going to have to give something up if you don't have switch everything personnel. And we were getting burned on the three ball yet again, like we got burned on the three ball the other night by Philly yesterday. Then we go small ball, switch everything. And I think we're getting a little naive switching everything so much because we have very mediocre defenders at this point. We have mid-defensive personnel. We aren't locking anyone down. TJ McConnell was looking like John Stockton out there tonight. I mean, and then Siakam, I got to give him credit. We know who, what kind of good player he is, but he was really doing a good job of exploiting mismatches. You know, when he had a Norman Powell on him or even a James Harden on him, get the ball around the basket in the post. Paul George started out super aggressive for us. Kawhi started to get going, but it just felt as though end of the third quarter, beginning of the fourth, we just collapsed again, and it, it happened very similarly in yesterday's game in the fourth, and it just feels like our legs run out. It's like we're second best to everything. You know, we go with these switch everything units that aren't staying in front of the ball, they're not rebounding. Daniel Tice barely got any burn. P.J. Tucker was pretty awful in the first half outside of like two to three solid defensive possessions. He hurts us offensively, and then defensively when he doesn't offer anything, 
we are at a disadvantage. Russell Westbrook, I like the energy that he brought back to the floor, got to the basket a couple of times, got some nice assists, had some nice lob passes to Kawhi. But overall, there was a stretch where we had Russ in with Zoo and PJ Tucker. And we know those three non-shooters ain't, ain't great together. And just the continuous small ball. Honestly, I don't think James Harden should have come back in the game for Westbrook. Like, I really don't. James Harden, I, at this point, I get impressed when he gets any stop of any sort. And I feel like my defensive standard has lowered having him on the team. It feels like everyone's telling me, dime, Harden can't guard anyone. He's playing terrible defense. And I'm like, is he really playing terrible defense? But maybe my standard has subconsciously gone down. And I'm like, accepting the worse. Because... There were times when the Indiana Pacers just made some really tough shots, but we can't stop anybody. And a team like that, who's been pretty ass defensively all year, mediocre lately, as Ben said, they look like they had more resistance than us. They did a good job of running us off the three-point line, preventing us from making threes, and... Let me talk to you, let me talk to you, LA Clippers. Okay, LA Clippers, this guy told you half her, half her, half the honest truth. The other truth is Clippers number one. Clippers number one. <laughs> number one, okay. it's sucking little... ass. No, 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 Let me talk to you. Tranquilo, tranquilo, tranquilo. Okay. Tranquilo. Right. I'm going to tell you the honest truth. Clippers number one. Let me tell you on the, let me tell you why they're under number one. Number one. Number one. Number one. All right. Kawhi Leonard. No. Kawhi Leonard. And the number one. Kawhi Leonard looked like he ran out of gas again in no, this no, one. No, 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 no. It looked like he ran out of gas no, no, again. No, no, no. James Harden is looking like okay. super listen. old. Let me listen. Get them all out of here in the okay. summer, to be honest, at this listen. point. Let me listen one time. Let me listen one time. This gentleman, just a gentleman, is, is uh, a LA, LA Clippers. Tranquilo, huh? LA Clippers. Tranquilo. That's not that. that, that Tran I charge tranquilo, for that. Tranquilo. 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 No me tocas. Okay. All right. This gentleman is number one because right. he represents Lakers. Lakers? Lakers. Get out. Clippers. A cl and Clippers. All right. Number one. I appreciate you. Clippers. Number one. All right. Clippers. James Harden should have been better. He's looking old and slow. I just am not. A, I'm not a fan of what's going on right now. We look terrible. We look Clippers, slow. Clippers. Number one. And let me tell you why. Cl Clippers are. Last one. Last one. Clippers number one <laughs> because James Harden. It's number one. Number one, and he's going to be taking us a one-way ticket to Cancun if things don't okay. change. If Have a great night. Not, if he does not take that, right now, right now, right now, Clippers, stand up. Clippers, stand up. Like, Clippers, like and subscribe. Clippers, stand like up. Like and subscribe. Okay, stand up.